Hello everyone, this is Vikas from Spawn Academy and welcome to another video. So in this video today, we are going to start new tutorial series on this simple looking joke application and we are going to use the free API. So let me show you the API that I'm talking about. So this is the joke API and which is a free API available to us. So if you go to this API listed fund slash API slash joke API, you can access this page and from here you can go to the docs page of this joke api and this joke api is available for free so you can use it in your application to build any kind of uh, android application that you want to so here you can get these uh trying out blocks and you can try out what kind of queries you can send and what kind of uh, url it's going to build and we'll come back here when we start developing our application so for now uh I just wanted to show you where we are getting our jokes from. So if you just uh, set the parameter here and click on send request, here you can see you are getting the jokes and it is sending you the JSON response. So we have these categories, error, setup, delivery flags and so on. So you can filter out jokes as well. So let me show you the final application that we are going to build. And this is not the advanced application. I have not focused on any UI of this application so I have just used the simple UI but if you want to uh, make your application a little bit pretty then you can do it but this is the basic of our application and you can see we are having the 10 jokes so this API only allow you to explore 10 jokes at a time but if you click on this button again it's going to refresh it and you will get different jokes every time you click on this okay so we have different categories and these categories are provided here okay so these are the categories all the categories that are available so just like that you can uh, i have what i have done is i have used um horizontal recycler view to list out all these categories and if i click on any of this category it's going to highlight the card view here that is the item of our recycler view and it's going to load the jokes okay so it will be easier to navigate around and find different jokes based on the categories okay so these are the things so we will learn all about horizontal recycler view and how we can select these uh, jokes based on the categories and here i have used fragment to display this okay so these are the different fragment these uh, categories are in the main activity and we are displaying these jokes in the different fragment okay so let's get started with our application i hope you understood something uh the concept of this joke application if not let me know in the comment below and don't forget to like uh, like this video and subscribe to our channel for the next part of this videos because i'm going to put this tutorial series in different parts okay so let's get started i have my android studio open here and i'm going to create new application and as always we are going to start by creating empty activity and let me create the let me give the android application name random joke or oh, let me funny app okay so let's just give the any name you can give the kind of name you want to give to your application for now i'm just going to give this name for the demo purpose i will click on finish and if you are wondering how we are going to parse the json data then we will use the volley library as always and we will uh, parse the json data and retrieve the and display the jokes in our application okay so this application building is in the process now the process is done what i want to do is i want to add the required library so volley library is the one we are going to use so i'm going to search the volley api and you can go to this android developer websites and copy the volley library dependency okay and if you have watched my previous videos then you know what exactly i'm doing so i'm gonna go back to this builder gradle file and add the uh, a dependency link of this volley library now i need to sync this and one more thing i will finish uh, do here is i will add the internet permissions because to get the json response we need internet so we need to give the internet permissions here okay so we could do this later but uh, it's uh, while we are here in the android manifest i want to do it here right now 
okay so this is it this is the demo application now let me run this and we should get the blank application for our app okay so i will close this application and this is our application and you can see we have funny app hello world and so on okay now we will go ahead and work on our ui and create the required ui for our application so here we are going to need two um, things first is the recycler view okay and this recycler view is going to be the horizontal one for the categories and uh, we will add one more frame layout here for the fragments okay so i will fix the constant on the left and right and i will make this wrap content i'll make match parent at the width and make the wrap content here okay and now here we're gonna add the frame layout so let me go to the split mode here and just after this recycler view i will add the frame layout for our application it's going to have match parent match parent and we will give the id so that we can reference this frame layout later when we will be using the fragments okay so i will give the name for the id as the fragment container and let me close this fragment okay go back here in the design now i will fix the constraint and make it uh, let me make these match parent and when we fix this constraint at the bottom of this recycler view and here i will make the match constraint and match constraint on the both side now it is sitting perfectly with this uh, recycler view and the frame container okay so this recycler view is going to have its own id so i'm going to give the id as cat list because it's going to hold the category list now here i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the adapter for this category list okay so i'm going to create one more package here for the adapters because we are going to have two adapters one is to display the jokes in the recycler view as a vertical recycler view and another one is for this category which is having the recycler view as a horizontal recycler view and we will use that as a menu so i'm gonna go ahead and click enter to create the package and now inside this adapter package i can create the new java class for our category adapter so i'm going to give the name as category adapter and if you have create, created this kind of adapter before then you know exactly what we are going to do if not follow along with me and i will explain what i'm doing here so since this category is for the recycler view we have to extend recycler view adapter and this adapter is going to take the view holder as the parameter because view holder is where we are going to reference to our custom layout okay so this recycler view is going to use the custom layout for the uh, items so we need to reference that and to hold that we need add a view holder now here it takes the parameter of a view holder so we need to create the view holder so let me go here and create inner class so public class view holder it's going to extend the recycler view view holder okay just like that now let me come back here and reference to this inner view holder and since this view holder is present inside this category adapter we can reference using category adapter dot view holder okay now uh, we you can see we are having some error here so to fix that here we need to create the matching constructor okay like that and here as well we need to implement the methods okay like that so uh, in this version of Android Studio, it is giving this uh, extra, you know, uh, annotations. So we actually don't need that. So I'm going to delete this. I don't know why it is giving all these annotations. So maybe if you know the solutions, then let me know in the comment below. But right now, all we can do is we can remove this and it's gonna working. It's gonna work just fine, okay? Now the category editor is created. We can reference this category later here in the main activity so that we can display the items 
in the in our um, recycler view here so this is going to hold the category and what i'm going to do is i'm going to since the categories are predefined and they are not going to change most likely what i can do is i will send the list of category name from the main activity to this uh, holder so to do that let me make this cat category editor class to be able to receive the list of category names so to do that i can create the new list of a string and let me import the class i'll import the list class and here i will create this variable and now to receive the data from another class to this java class we can use the constructor so i will create the new public constructor category holder and it's going to receive the list of string okay and now to assign this received category list to this particular category here we can use this method this is cat equals to we will uh, assign this received list of category to this uh, list of category here that is present inside our category editor class okay now i can use this cats to get the item count so cats dot size okay and now here we inside this on create view holder we need to reference the custom view that we are going to use for our category so we have not created our view yet so uh, here in the layout we are going to create the new layout for our category and we will reference that here inside this on view holder and we will do that in the next video so i will see you in the next video